Hello. Um, today I want to help you with the first certificate speaking exam and we're going to look at part one of the speaking exam. My name is Jonathan Turner. Um, this is mainly directed for Spanish speakers. Entonces, eh, si necesitamos aclarar algunas cosas, a veces lo haré en español. Okay, so let's start with uh, a brief overview of part one of the speaking exam. Okay, so here's the speaking test. And let's have a look. Part one. It's only three minutes. It's the easy part of the uh, test. Uh, it's basically going to ask you about some more personal types of questions. So what will some of those questions be? Let's have a look. Here are some examples. Take a minute just to read those. These are taken from past FCE papers. And in the next video, uh, we will take a look at some more example questions. Okay, ya terminamos de leer. Okay, let's go and practice some of these. But before we do, I want to introduce an idea to you. And the idea I want to introduce is the idea of discourse management. Entonces, discourse management, básicamente es cómo nos organizamos para mantener una conversación. Discourse se refiere a, a, a el discurso, ¿no? Uh, management, cómo podemos lidiar una conversación. Y hay una serie de expresiones eh, que les podemos dar para poder lidiar ese tipo de, de, de conversación con mayor eficacia. Ok, so let's take a look at what some of those phrases are. Uh, what I did was to put them into different categories. So, here's the first category. And it's uh, how to start your answer. Entonces, uh, the examiner te hace una pregunta y cómo empiezas la respuesta. Okay, let's do a drill for these expressions. These are some common expressions for starting your answer. Okay. Okay, I want everybody to repeat that with that falling intonation. And we, we, we make the, the K slightly longer. Okay. Okay, notice the difference. Okay. And the next one. Right, so. Try it again. Right, so. And the next one. I guess. Notice, se hace como una interrogativa. I guess. I guess, and the last one, I suppose, y se puede alargar, I suppose the last syllable there, one more time, I suppose, okay, let's just go over those again, don't forget to repeat them, you have to repeat them, you have to say them out loud in order to memorize them and to have them ready to use. Everybody ready? Okay. Right, so I guess, I suppose, okay, so those are your starting your answer phrases. Okay, now you started your answer and we'll, we'll, we'll 
take a look at some examples in a minute. What comes after starting your answer? Well, the next thing you might want to do is ask for clarification. So let's have a look at how we might do that. Just one second, please. And here we are asking for clarification. Now, eh, puede ser que necesitamos pedir clarificación porque realmente no hemos entendido nada la pregunta, o bien puede ser que, que, sí, o, que queremos eh, ganar algo de tiempo. Um, asking for clarification no necesariamente eh, implica que no hayas entendido la pregunta. Y otra cosa, nunca vas a perder puntos por preguntar o pedir clarificación. Okay, that's not going to happen. Entonces, uh, what phrases can we can we use? Let's do the same again. Let's drill them, and uh, then we'll move on. First one. Um, do you mean? No se olviden la intonación. Again. Do you mean? Next. Are you asking? Again, intonation. Are you asking? And the last one. I'm not sure I follow. That's just the intonation. I'm not sure I follow. Follow, rising, falling. I'm not sure I follow. Vuelvo a repetir. Do you mean? Are you asking? I'm not sure I follow. Okay. Vamos de una vez a la uh, the next uh, categoría de, de frases útiles. A veces cuando estás dando una respuesta vas a querer cambiar un poco tu, tu rumbo. Okay. So these changing direction phrases are useful. Entonces empiezas una respuesta, estás por la mitad, te das cuenta que quieres cambiar, quieres agregar algo eh, o no te va bien. Eh, tal como hayas planteado la, la respuesta, entonces quieres cambiar un poquito. Ok, acá tenemos. So, let's drill them. Uh, Dete cuenta de la, de la interacción también, es muy importante. On the other hand, quiero que te des cuenta también de on the other hand. Notice the way we've got the and other and they go together. On the other, on the other, on the, on the other hand, on the other hand, and other hand, también va juntos. On the other hand, next. Uh, mind you, I suppose you could say, notice again, second syllable, suppose you could say, mind you, I suppose you could say, Date cuenta también, la D en mind se suprime. ¿eh? No decimos mind you, sino mind you. Otra vez, mind you. And the, the N and the D se juntan y se pronuncia. Mind you. Mind you, I suppose you could say. Y la última. Having said that, tal vez merece la pena traducir la última. Um, having said that, daré lo dicho. So, again, on the other hand, mind you, I suppose you could say, having said that, te cuento también de la, de, 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 uh, the emphasis on said in, in la última frase. Having said that, Okay, let's move on to the last segment before we go on and practice a part one. Useful phrases ending the term. And that's about it.
the, the Cuentaque intonation, eh, cuando estás ending the turn, ending lo que quieres decir, es sumamente importante. La intonación baja y esa intonación baja, eh, eso eh, transmite al interlocutor que hayas terminado uh, tu respuesta. So let's do that again. And that's about it. And I can't think of anything else. And I can't think of anything else. Cambia un poco la intonación entre los dos. Espero que, creo que la segunda es la más eficaz. Vamos a intentar otra vez. And I, I can't think of anything else. Okay. Do that one more time, and that's about it, and that's about it, and I can't think of anything else. Okay, now we've looked at some of those useful phrases. Los hay que anotar, los hay que repetir, volver a repetir, eh, las veces que se pueda. Okay, let's apply them to these questions, okay? Uh, y como les dije, en, en otros videos pienso hacer más preguntas de, de ese tipo, eh? pero vamos a sentarnos acá. Okay, let's just stop the share for a second. Okay, so I'm going to read the question and I'm going to answer it as I would as a student. And... Um, I'm going to use some of the phrases that we wrote down as well. Okay, so first question. Could you tell me something about the area where you grew up? Uh, right, so I grew up in the UK in a town called uh, Birmingham. Um, it was a nice place to grow up. Um, it was quite friendly, and there were lots of parks. Um, having said that, um, there were some social problems in the city. So it, you know, it wasn't it wasn't all um, perfect. And um, that's about it. Okay, esa fue la primera respuesta. Espero que te diste cuenta de las frases que empleé y las respuestas. Ahora, vuelvo a repetir la pregunta y esta vez quiero que tú contestas. Y como interviewer, te voy a, te voy a cortar después de cierto tiempo. Ok, so, here we go. Ahora, prepárate para hablar. Could you tell me something about the area where you grew up? Okay, that's great. Okay, does it not only this that the interviewer will finish the term if you keep talking and he thinks that you've said enough. Vamos a la siguiente. How much TV do you watch in a week? Well, I suppose um, I watch um, no more than a couple of hours. Um, I don't have a lot of time for TV. Um, on the other hand, I guess if YouTube videos are TV as well, then perhaps a little bit more. Um, you know, maybe I'll watch some videos during the day. Um, I mean, do, do you mean do you mean TV TV or do you also mean YouTube videos? Okay, so if it's both, yeah, maybe I would say. Um, four or five hours a week, um, yeah, and uh, I can't think of anything else, okay, 
Notice as well that there's lots of, uh, um, again, these are quite acceptable. You're not supposed to speak like a prearranged script. You're supposed to speak naturally. So if there are these silences and these pauses, that's, that's quite normal. Okay. Vuelvo a repetir la pregunta y esta vez quiero que tú contestes. Okay. How much TV do you watch in a week? Okay, that's great, thank you. Okay, siguiente pregunta. Do you use the internet to learn new things? Okay, uh, well, I use the internet for everything. So, are you asking for, for, for things related to, to my professional life or um, are you asking for, you know, anything? Um, if it's anything, then, yeah, I mean, I use the internet all the time. Um, for example, um, if I want to uh, learn more about Arabic, which I study, I use YouTube videos. Or if I'm interested in a particular aspect of teaching, I might read some online journals. Um, so yeah, I guess um, I guess I do use uh, I do use uh, videos a lot. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Vuelvo a repetir la pregunta y ahora contestas. Do you use the internet to learn new things? Okay, thanks, that's great. Okay, vamos a la, a la siguiente. Okay, where are we now? Let's just get my cards. Okay. Tell us about a day you enjoyed recently. Right. So, um, I work quite a lot. And so, I most enjoy... Um, days that I can spend with my family. Um, so a day I enjoyed recently, um, I went with my family to a swimming pool and um, we spent some time in the pool and um, we had some lunch there, a couple of beers, hung out on the beach as well. Um, mind you, I, I suppose I could say that I also enjoy um, you know, days days on my own, um, time to myself. And recently, I I had a day um, when I you know listened to some music that I enjoyed and read a book and just hung out and relaxed and didn't have to worry about things. So um, yeah, I I guess I guess that's about it. Vuelvo a repetir or contestas por favor. Tell us about the day you enjoyed recently. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, vamos a la siguiente pregunta. Nos queda una pregunta nada más. Do you have any plans for a holiday this year? Um, I guess I don't have a hundred percent plans yet. Um, I, are you? I'm, I'm not sure. I 
follow? Are you asking for like a holiday, vacation, long holiday, or are you asking maybe for the next weekend? Okay, so for a long holiday, um, I suppose that um, we will go and visit my family, um, my mother, sister, and brothers, and um, we will um, maybe go to the beach with them. Sometimes we rent a small house where we stay together, um, but we, we haven't made plans for uh, a holiday yet. Um, so that, that's about it. Okay, or a Do you have any plans for the holiday this year? Okay, that's great, thank you. Ahora estaba cuenta en la última respuesta, no supe qué decir. Um, again, this es bastante normal, no te preocupes si, si no tienes una respuesta en la punta de la lengua, no se trata de eso. Um, si no tienes una respuesta, te puedes inventar algo eh, o decir, sabes que no, no tengo planes para tal cosa, pero puede ser que hagamos, qué sé yo, ir a la playa o lo que sea, en el, en el caso de la pregunta que queremos. Otra cosa que me, me acabo de dar cuenta que les quisiera mencionar es el uso de I mean. Y I mean es cuando estamos dando una respuesta y queremos aclarar la respuesta. So, vuelvo a repetir. Um, for example, um, I might go to the beach. I mean, often in the, in the summer, you know, we go to the beach. So, entonces, el uso de I mean um, equivale en español al sea, it's something we use a lot during conversation. So, en resumen, part one of the speaking, it's only three minutes, um, van a ser preguntas no tan difíciles, hay que tratar de responder de una manera completa, pero no se trata de un discurso, sino una respuesta mediana. Um, es importante que, que memorizan algunas frases como para mantener la conversación y darle ese toque más, un poco más natural. ¿sí? Um, y les sugiero que vuelvan a repetir las frases las veces que puedan. Ok, si a alguien le interesa um, recibir una práctica o hacer una práctica, no me, importa, uh, no me importaría hacer uno, ponen un un mensaje debajo del video en YouTube um, con la única condición que no le importa que le grabemos y después les, les doy unos tips y otro, otras personas pueden compartir con los tips. Entonces, si no te importa que, que grabamos la, la conversación, eh, bienvenidos, eh, hagan nomás una, una pequeña cita y, y grabamos una, una, una entrevista. Ok, I will be back in part to next week um, to continue a bit more on part one before we move on to other aspects of the speaking test. Bye for now.